Without wasting your time, we are going to share top 5 best microphones for gaming. The product links are in description and in first comment. The number 5 on the list is Hyperx Quadcast S. The gamer-centric Hyperx Quadcast S is an excellent microphone for the gamer or streamer looking for an easy-to-use, clear-sounding mic. While it doesn't quite match up to the Yeti X in terms of sound quality, the Quadcast S makes up for it in design and feature set. The biggest draw of the Quadcast S is that it's loaded with built-in features, the built-in shock mount prevents the mic from picking up any accidental bumps that happen during a contentious wars in match or overly active Discord chat. The built-in pop filter is also a nice touch considering I always have issues trying to find the optimal position and distance for my Rink a Dink $7 pop shield, and it never quite stays where it's supposed to when mounted. The touch sensitive mute button at the top of the microphone is excellent too. Often mute buttons and switches make a loud click when recording. This doesn't. The Quadcast S hits the sweet spot of price, sound, and features if you're looking to add something to your live stream. The number 5 on the list is Hyperx Quadcast S. If you're a musician or want your voice to sound the way it's meant to be heard, the MV7 is an easy recommendation. If you don't mind reaching deep into your pocketbook, that is. There are affordable mix on this list, but it is still absolutely true that if you want the best, you will have to pay for it. You don't really need to be much of a sound person to know Sure makes killer audio gear. Chances are, you've seen some of your favorite musicians rock a Shure microphone on stage or in the studio. Shure has been providing pro-grade microphones for an age, and the MV7 podcast microphone is its attempt to bring its high-end sound to content creators. The USB Type-B Micro XLR connection will be the big draw for a lot of folks. It gives you the best of both worlds by providing the adaptability of XLR, especially if you use professional audio interfaces, and the versatility of Type-B micro inputs for recording on the go with laptops and mobile devices. The mic itself does an excellent job of isolating my voice, while ignoring the loud hums of my desktop PC, air conditioner, and any other ambient nonsense I have going on in the background. You will notice some pretty loud plosives, so it might be best to invest in a shield to block your breath from the mic, or not having the mic directly in front of you when recording. The MV7 takes advantage of the SurePlus mod of software, which lets you tweak and fine-tune your sound with relative ease. From here, you can mess with things like adding compression to your voice, adjust your EC, and add a limiter. One of the more understated features is the auto level mode. We've seen similar features in other mix, such as the Elgato Wave 3, which basically keeps you from hitting the red. That's especially useful if your content involves lots of shouting or singing or both. So now you don't have to worry about bursting your viewers' eardrums when a jump scare gets the better of you in Phasmophobia. Also, nice if you're a bit of an audio novice and your recording area isn't acoustically sound. The number 3 on the list is Audio-Technica. Audio Technica is a hugely respected name in the pro audio industry. It brings decades of expertise to the table with the AT2020 USB+. This is a medium diaphragm condenser with just a cardioid polar pattern available, which makes it somewhat specialized to lone vocal recording, but luckily it's brilliant at that very thing. In a straight shootout with the Bayer Dynamic Fox, the AT2020 UBS Plus comes incredibly close to matching the Fox's warmth and detail, but falls slightly short. Yet, the particular characteristics of the Audio Technica, a breathiness and really pleasant high end, make it perfect for spoken vocals. We recommend a couple of additional purchases for this mic, though, a pop shield and a boom arm. We're surprised not to see the former included, but they're inexpensive to pick up on their own. As for that boom arm, the tripod design felt a little wobbly during our testing, so we preferred mounting it up above us on a nice sturdy boom before hitting the record button. That way, we were able to relax and not spend our session worrying about knocking into the desk and picking up bumps and scratches on the waveform.
The number two on the list is blue microphones. The venerable Blue Yeti was there at the birth of the streaming boom, and it's still a ubiquitous desktop feature on Twitch. And with good reason. It's just about the easiest mic to use on the market and really excels when picking up a single vocal signal at a time. Logitech's Blue Yeti is built to a very high standard and will stay where you angle it on its weighty stand. The design of that stand, along with the understated, retro aesthetic of the mic capsule itself, makes this the most stylish USB microphone and that's important when you're streaming yourself for an audience of judging eyes. If you really love RGB and want to sync all your peripherals up to the beat of the same light show, though, consider Razer's Saren series instead. The controls couldn't be easier to use while you're streaming. A single volume control and a mute button on the front of the mic are all you get, and for the intended purpose that's all you really need. You're never going to accidentally hit the wrong thing midstream. The Blue Yeti's four polar patterns also give it great versatility, so if you venture out into music recording or podcasting, you're not limited by a single cardioid pickup pattern. The number one on the list is, 3. Hyperx Quadcast, USB Condenser Gaming. Hyperx's Quadcast provided the best gaming performance out of any USB microphone we've tested. With impressive vocal warmth and clarity, the Hyperx Quadcast is the best gaming microphone for most players. It doesn't just have excellent sound quality, the Quadcast also has a well-pronounced gaming aesthetic. Behind the cradle lives a strikingly dramatic red light that illuminates when the mic is on. You can mute yourself instantly by tapping the top of the microphone, at which point the light will handily turn off to indicate this. Hyperx has equipped the Quadcast with a very sturdy shock mount. That means you can relax and get your game face on without worrying about knocking the stand over and deafening your Discord friends. Thanks for watching like comment and subscribe for more updates.